Hello everyone, I myself Dr. Deepthi Kari, I am the PhD in Physiology and your educator for Physiology. Okay? Now today we will discuss about the properties of cardiac muscle. We are starting with the, uh, we are, we have started uh, talking about different properties and today we will discuss about conductivity. Okay, before starting my class, I would like to inform you all that you will get all my notes in soft copy as well as hard copy. For soft copy, you have to download the application the same, yes, and subscribe for the same. And for hard copy, uh, you have to... Uh, purchase my book that is physiology notes which is available on flipkart as well as amazon okay you can also join our whatsapp group whatsapp number uh, for that is 7863822668 okay you can either message or you can join directly by the link link for the all is given for my book for my uh, application as well as for my whatsapp group all links are given in the description box okay now let us uh, start with the properties as we have discussed we have uh, discuss that electrical and mechanical properties are there. Electrical properties are excitability, automaticity, rhythmicity, conductivity. Mechanical properties are contractility, all or none law, refractory period, staircase mechanism, and summation. Okay, so we have discussed this properties three. We are now discussing conductivity. Okay, now so conductivity, conducting system or conductive system of the heart that is specialized fibers of the heart muscle that consist of this all uh, your SA node, this one. Okay, interatrial track. This is interatrial track. Okay, then we will discuss internodal track between SA node and AV node. This is AV node, atrioventricular node. Then AV bundle, bundle of his. It is also known as and right and left bundle branches. Okay, now uh, next let us start with first one that is SA node. Okay, sinoatrial node here. This is this is also known as pacemaker of the heart. This is sign. SA node that is located on the posterolateral wall of the right atrium. Here you can see, okay, that is just uh, below the opening of superior vena cava in the right atrium, okay. This SA node fibers, they are connected directly with the atrial muscle fiber. So, impulses and action potential that will pass from SA node to the atrial muscle fibers too, okay. Now, what is the dimension of SA node that is about, it is a uh, flattened and ellipsoidal strip of specialized cardiac muscle and the length that is 15 millimeter length okay breadth is 3 millimeter and thickness is 1 millimeter and it is innovated by right vagus now as well as sympathetic fibers now uh, impulses they spread they arise from SA node and they spread in all the direction they spread to cardiac muscle of atria here you can see right atrium as well as left atrium through interatrial track, it will pass through, pass to left atrium also. And internodal track, that, that is between SA node and AV node, okay. Now, what is the structure of SA node? Uh, it, the cells are having ill-defined uh, boundaries, okay. And they consist of thin and elongated, as I told you, flat uh, cells, shape is fusiform and 15 by 3 by 1 size. And they are pacemaker cells because heart contract at a rate of SA node, okay. These are the pacemaker as we have discussed. Now, interatrial tract. This is interatrial means it connects one atrium to the uh, another. That it starts from SA node here, and this is also known as Beckman's bundle. This one, okay. It is a band of specialized muscle fiber that runs from SA node, and that connects to the other atrium. Okay, this is known as interatrial tract or Beckman's bundle. Okay. And uh, it causes simultaneous depolarization of the atria. Next is internodal conduction pathway. That is between SA node and AV node. Okay. There are three internodal tracks. You can see here. Huh. Anterior, middle and posterior. You can see here this one. Anterior. This is middle and this is posterior. Anterior internodal tract that is also known as tract of Backman. It originates from the anterior end of the SA node and it passes anterior to superior vena cava opening and it descends down here, okay, which is to the AV node. Then middle one that is known as bank to back. You can easily remember, I have a trick, anterior A and B, Pacman, middle M and W, make it ulta, ulta kardusko, W, and posterior that is track of Thorel, okay, so these are three uh, tracks. Next is AV node. AV node is located on the posterior wall of the right atrium here. Okay, on the right side of the interatrial septum. Okay, that is beneath the endocardium. And structure that is same as SA node innervation that is innervated by left vagus nerve. And it also receives sympathetic nerve fibers from the left side. Uh, 
stimulation uh, it is stimulated by excitation wave that travels through the uh, this internodal tract from SA node okay this one okay uh, next is bundle AV bundle or bundle of his this is your bundle of his this one hmm? now this is originating from AV node you can see here okay and it runs towards the posterior margin of the membranous interventricular septum okay then it passes forward below it and then it is ensheathed and it is in the canal and that is divided in right and left branches you can see here this is right branch and this is left branch okay uh, left branch uh, pierces the membrane and lies on the upper border okay here and this is a right branch okay this both the branches they divide uh, repeatedly and they form a network of fibers that lie sub endocardially and these are known as Purkinje these are continuous with the fibers which are known as Purkinje fibers okay now uh, Purkinje fibers Purkinje fibers they are originating from the terminal division of this bundle branches you can see here these are the Purkinje fibers fine okay Histology, these fibers are large, very important thing, thicker than SA node, okay, and they have higher number of gap junctions, okay, and therefore velocity of conduction is highest velocity of conduction of Purkinje fiber is 1.5 to 4 meter per second, that is highest amongst all. Now let us discuss velocity of conduction of different areas, SA node velocity of conduction is 0 0.05 meter per second, try to remember this atrial fiber that is 1 meter per second, AV node 0 0.05 meter per second, bundle of his conduction velocity 1 meter per second, Purkinje fiber 1.5 to 4 meter per second, okay, ventricular muscle fiber 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 meter per second and atrial muscle fiber 1 meter per second, okay, now what is the property conductivity or spread of cardiac impulse, as we have discussed cardiac impulse originated from SA node here, this one, okay, and they spread through this conducting system. Impulses they travel from SA node to other atrium through backman's bundle and SA node to AV node through internodal tracts. Okay. And this atrial depolarization, the whole atria they get depolarized within the depolarization of atria requires 0.1 second. Okay, fine. Then now next is AV node. Here this impulses they reach to AV node. AV node fibers there is delay which is known as AV nodal delay means time required for the fiber to pass through AV node that is 0 0.09 second this is known as AV nodal delay why there is AV nodal delay because this AV nodal fibers are small fibers small transitional fibers so the conduction is less okay as second gap junctions are few so the impulse will not easily pass third is it has long refractory period so next stimulus cannot easily stimulate the uh, this in this AV node fiber. So three causes. One is small transitional fiber. Second, few gap junctions, and third, that is long refractory period. Fine. So these are the three causes for AV nodal delay. Now, next is uh, if we are stimulating sympathetic nerve. Okay, the sympathetic nerve decreases AV nodal delay, and parasympathetic nerve increases AV nodal delay. Okay. So the heart rate increased by sympathetic and decreased by parasympathetic. Now, what is the importance of AV node? Because AV node, AV nodal delay, it this it is the time required for the impulse to pass through AV node. So there is a delay, 0 0.09 second. Okay, why? What is the importance of this delay? Why this delay is important? Because this allows the atria to complete its contraction before ventricle starts its contraction. Due to AV nodal delay, time provided for the to the atria for completion of uh, contraction before ventricle starts its contraction and there is complete emptying of atria atria gets time to get empty completely okay so this is also important uh, feature and that is uh, av nodal delay that is important okay now uh, there is one applied aspect here stock adam syndrome what is the stock adam syndrome if there is complete dissociation or you can say complete block at av node what happens SA nodal impulses they will not only they can reach to ventricle through AV node so if here you can see when there is block when it is complete block what happens this SA nodal fibers they will not reach to the ventricle so what happens ventricles they also have the property of autonomicity so now ventricular fibers they also start uh, creating their own rhythm but this takes some time about 15 to 20 seconds are required and during this time our brain is not getting blood Okay, and because of that, the person is having dizziness, syncopal attack, loss of consciousness. 
Okay, and sometimes it may lead to death also. And this is known as stock Adam syndrome. Okay, fine. Now this impulse, huh? How it passes, you can see here from SA node here to AV node, then bundle, bundle branches like this. Hmm? Okay. So and then lastly it reaches to the basal portion of the ventricle. Okay. Postrobasal basal portion of the left ventricle. These are the three parts. They are depolarized uh, last. Hmm? They are postrobasal portion of you can see here left ventricle, pulmonary conus, and upper part of the interventricular septum. These are the three portions. This may be asked as MCQ, which are the parts of the heart. They are depolarized last. Okay. Just remember postrobasal portion of the left ventricle, pulmonary conus, and uppermost portion of interventricular septum. Now, time taken for the impulse to travel through different tissues. As we have discussed, SA node it requires 0 0.03 second. AV node, huh? AV nodal delay is 0 0.09 second, okay? And bundle, AV bundle, it requires again 0 0.04 second. So, total AV nodal delay is your 0 0.13 second. Bundle branches, they require 0 0.03 second. For kinjal fibers, they require 0 0.03 second, okay? And last, uh, uh, to endocardial and epicardial of the uh, surface of the ventricle, they also get deeper. So, total time required for the impulse to pass that is 0.22 seconds. Okay, if you are some, making sum of all this, you will get 0.22 seconds. Okay, now another is ventricular escape. This is also applied aspect. When we are stimulating vagus now strongly, if it is uh, mild or moderate stimulation, it decreases heart rate. But when there is strong stimulation of vagus now, again, because of release of large amount of acetyl choline, because of vagus stimulation, what happens? Heart stops beating. This is known as ventricular escape. Okay. Uh, that can slow or even block the cardiac rhythm as well as cardiac conduction. Okay. So, weak to moderate as we have discussed that heart rate decreases. But when it is strong stimulation, then uh, vagi can stop completely and rhythmic excitation of a sinus node that is blocked. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Strong stimulation of vagus now can stop completely the rhythmic excitation by sinus node or block completely the transmission of impulse. Either excitation by sinus node or conduction, both are blocked. Okay, so this we have already discussed stock Adam syndrome. You can see here fainting attack is there, the person is having. Okay, another important thing here applied aspect or clinical physiology that is Wolf, Parkinson, White syndrome. What happens in some individual there is a presence of abnormal bundle or abnormal pathway here normal pathway that is impulses they are transmitted from SA node to AV node and then they reach to ventricle okay but here there is abnormal pathway which is known as bundle of Kent okay this is present bundle of Kent between atria and ventricle so impulses they pass from atria to ventricle directly through bundle of Kent and most of the patient here with this syndrome this is presence of bundle of Kent that is known as Wolf Parkinson White syndrome normally patients are asymptomatic if but uh, they have fast rhythm which is generated uh, in the atria and that will be conducted to the ventricle. But if it is symptomatic, then it can be treated with the radio frequency catheter that is inserted and this bundle of Kent is to be ablaced. Okay, so this, uh, this is about the applied aspect. Okay, so this is all about today's topic that is property of uh, cardiac muscle conductivity. Uh, again, I would like to uh, inform you again that all my topics, all my topics notes are available in soft copy and hard copy. For soft copy, you have to download the application the CLS and subscribe for the same. And for hard copy, uh, you have to uh, uh, purchase my book that is Physiology Notes, which is available on Flipkart as well as Amazon. Link for all that is given in the description box. You can also join my WhatsApp group that is the number is 7863822668. Okay, link for the joining whatsapp group that is also given in the description box thank you so much if you like my video you can like it you can share it with all your friends and you can subscribe my channel